हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द लोकोमोशन एंड मूवमेंट इन द चैप्टर वी हैव द मजिल्स एज वेल एज बोन्स हियर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी हियर टुडे ह्यूमन स्केल्टल सिस्टम सो एक्चुअली ह्यूमन स्केल्टन हाउ द टू पार्ट्स वन इज एक्सेल स्केल्टन अनदर वन इज अपेंडिकुलर स्केल्टन वन इज एक्सेल स्केल्टन अनदर वन इज अपेंडिकुलर स्केल्टन हियर एक्सेल स्केल्टल मीन्स axis how the bones that axis bones are called as axial bones in axial bones how the skull skull next vertebral column next sternum next ribs these are called as axial skeleton so skull skull bones vertebral column total back bone spinal cord is called as vertebral column total bones sternum and ribs this is called as axial skeleton another one is appendicular skeleton appendicular skeleton means here have the limbs limbs plus that uh, pectoral plus pectoral and pelvic vessels pectoral and pelvic vessels will be belongs to appendicular skeleton main axis ko attach rahitendi that attached sir nothing but appendicular skeleton so pectoral will be attached with the hands and pelvic will be attached to the legs pectoral girdle and pelvic girdle today now we are going to study about the axial skeleton axial skeleton how the total 80 bones axial skeleton how the total 80 bones this is the main axis of the body here the skull if you observe the first one first one here first one you take here skull skull how the eight 22 bones skull how the 22 bones ye cranial bones are eight bones facial bones are 14 bones and suppose if you take the c ear bones ear bones 3 plus 3 total 6 so total up to here you can count it 22 bones if you add the plus 6 here then that will convert into 28 bones ear ossicles will be whenever you are adding ear ossicles then that will be convert into total 28 bones here so skull made up of 22 bones skull made up of 22 bones in that how the cranial bones are 8 8 bones are cranial bones and facial bones are 14 so eight cranial bones cranial bones above the bones eight cranial bones protecting the brain skull always protecting the brain so eight bones protecting the brain and that's that is very hard then another one is facial bone other than this cranium then they have the front part is called as facial bones total facial bones are the 14 bones 14 bones are present in facial front part of the skull next here ear ossicles are there ear how the three bones here we are calling ear ossicles ear how the three small tiny bones they are calling as malleus incus and stapes three ear bones name is malleus stape incus and stapes stapes is the smallest bone in the human body so each ear how the three so 3 plus 3 6 so 3 plus 3 6 22 bones 8 cranial bones facial bones 14 plus ear bones 6 total 28 if you remove the ear bones then you have the 22 bones only that's why another one is free bone the skull not attached to this hyoid bone hyoid bone another name is tongue bone hyoid bone another name is tongue bone that is free bone in the throat in the throat in buccal cavity place how the u shaped bone u shaped bone is called as hyoid bone hyoid bone is another name is tongue bone that present at the buccal cavity that also included in the skull but that is the independent bone that shape is u shape each ear how the three tiny bones ear ossicles one malleus incus and stapes so each ear how the these three parts we are calling as ear ossicles right now we are observe that all the skull bones 22 bones ye cranial bones 8 facial bones 14 ear ossicles 3 plus 3 6 total 28 bones 
and this up to here cranium plus fascia is nothing but 22 bones are present in the head next here in the skull how the eight bones cranial bones are eight cranial bones are eight frontal bone how the one frontal bone how the one parietal bones are two parietal bones are two frontal bone is one parietal bones are two next temporal bones are two next occipital bone is one occipital bone is one then that will be brain onwards occipital brain is one that brain onwards directly that will be entered into the spinal cord so occipital bone brain to direct to spinal cord the continuous bone is occipital bone so frontal bone is one parietal bones are two and temporal bones are two occipital one that means frontal bone one occipital one temporal two and parietal two right these are the cranial bones what about the facial bones here we are going to study about the facial bones here here we have the facial bones are there facial bones are 14 what two nasal bones are two terminal bones are two omar one maxilla two upper joint upper joint is called the upper joint upper bone is called as maxilla maxilla have the upper joints two upper jaw upper jaw have the two bones that is maxilla and mandible have the one bone that is lower jaw lower jaw name is mandible upper jaw name is maxilla next lacrimal i orbit have the lacrimal bone bones are two and palatin above that part is palatin two bones and as well as zygomatic how the two bones total 14 bones friends here i am showing the diagram in this how the occipital one bone occipital one what the spinal cord will be continuously is going down occipital one bone next this is the temporal bone this side how the one bone that side also how the one bone next to this is the parietal bone parietal bone this side and that side two parietal bones one occipital bone two temporal bones both the sides this is the lateral view this is lateral view this is lateral view here occipital one parietal two temporal two frontal bone one another one is below the temporal frontal bone how the spinite bone is there and i orbital here how the ethmoid bone so spinite bone ethmoid bone total eight bones are present in the head skull cranium skull cranium how the eight bones next these are the facial bones facial bones how the lacrimal bones are two here lacrimal bones are two nasal chamber how the nasal bones are two next to zygomatic bone here below the eye bone how the zygomatic bone and here upper jaw how the maxilla maxilla is the upper jaw bone maxilla how the upper jaw bone and mandible how the lower jaw bone and free bone not attached bone is hyoid bone this is called as tongue bone we are calling as this is the free bone not attached to the any one bone this bone also included in the skull this is one of the lateral view i am repeating once again here cranial bones are eight frontal bone one parietal bones are two temporal two occipital one and spinoid one it might one right here i given frontal one parietal two temporal two occipital one it might it might one bone and uh, spinoid spinoid one bone. so here frontal one occipital one temporal two parietal two next to it might and spinoid bones are present here next to your facial bones are 14 nasal bones are 2 terminal bones 2 omar bone 1 maxilla upper jaw have the 2 bones mandible lower jaw have the 1 bone next to lacrimal have the 2 bones palatin have the 2 bones zygomatic have the 2 bones total 14 bones are there here this is the occipital this is the temporal temporal this side and that side next parietal bone 2 parietal bones are fused this is the parietal bones frontal bone and spin frontal bone below how the spina uh, spinoid bone i orbit how below how the it might bone next here lacrimal bones are two and nasal bones are two zygomatic bones two maxilla two mandible one mandible here 
have the mandible have the lower jaw and maxilla have the upper jaw and zygomatic bone is the yeah, the zygomatic bone is nothing but cheek bone cheek bones are called as zygomatic bones cheek bones are nothing but zygomatic bone and lacrimal bones are two bones are there thank you hi friends so in previous class we have studied about the human skull actually look in that skeleton system how the two parts one is axial skeleton another one is appendicular skeleton axial skeleton how the 80 bones appendicular skeleton how the 126 bones axial skeletal system how the axial how the 80 bones appendicular how the 126 bones axial skeleton how the remaining four parts that is skull vertebral column sternum ribs skull vertebral column sternum and ribs in previous class we have studied that skull now we are going to study about the vertebral column sternum and ribs here so here next in axial skeleton number one is axial skeleton axial axial skeleton how the first part is a previous class we have studied about the skull right next we have studied about the skull now we are going to study here vertebral column so vertebral column is nothing but just like a is spinal cord vertebral column is nothing but spinal cord here spinal cord how the bones spinal cord protecting bones are there here vertebral column how the serially arranged 26 bones are present vertebral column how the serially arranged 26 bones are present in back side dorsal side dorsally 26 serially arranged bones are present each vertebrae how the central hollow portion here red mark is there central hollow portion that is neural canal that will be now will be passed in that uh, spinal cord here through spinal cord passes the neural canal here atlas is the first vertebrae atlas is the first vertebrae articulate with occipital condylis so total vertebral column have the 26 bones total vertebral column have the 26 bones cervical bone 7 thoracic 12 lumbar 5 sacral 5 but fused one only next to coccygeal one fused means cervical 5 here i given c5 cervical 5 thoracic 12 t12 lumbar 5 l5 sacral 5 s5 c1 coccygeal 1 c7 t12 l5 s5 c1 this is the vertebral column bc formula is c5 t12 l5 s5 c1 in this diagram i am showing here so this is the central hollow portion spinal cord this spinal cord protecting with this vertebral column here seven cervical bones are there then after that thoracic region how the 12 bones and after that lumbar how the five bones sacral fused bones are five coccygeal tail bone is the one bone then here what is the function of vertebral column here vertebral column function is protection of spinal cord mainly vertebral column function is protecting the spinal cord after that supporting the head after that point of attachment of ribs the spinal cord attached with ribs another one is and muscles of the back here vertebral column how the serially 26 bones are there the 26 bones are nothing but cervical 7 thoracic 12 lumbar 5 sacral 5 fused coccygeal 1 right here c7 t12 l5 s5 c1 next b one is skull b is vertebral column this is the vertebral column here this thoracic is nothing but chest region cervical is the neck region so below the thoracic have the lumbar region pelvic region have the sacral and coccygeal bones now we are going to the c that is sternum so here ventral side how the one flat bone is there that is flat middle line how the flat middle line how present in the thorax that is called as sternum sternum is the strong bone right so the sternum attached with ribs 
D is the ribs. Sternum attached with ribs. The ribs are moving to the back side and attached with spinal cord. Twelve pairs of ribs are present. Right in humans, how the twelve pairs of ribs? Thin, flat bone and connected to vertebral column to sternum. So in front side, how the sternum attached with back side, how the spinal cord. So that out of twelve pairs. One to seven pairs. One to seven pairs are nothing but true bones. One to first two ribs to seven pairs of ribs are nothing but true ribs. The true ribs attach to the thoracic central vertebrae with hyaline cartilage. After that, eighth, ninth, tenth pairs are nothing but these eighth, ninth, tenth pairs directly not attached to the backbone, not attached to the spinal cord, but these will be attached with hyaline cartilage. And that will be moving to the seventh rib. So directly not attached, but join the seventh rib with hyaline cartilage. False ribs. Eighth, ninth, tenth. Three pairs of false ribs. That's why you are calling as false ribs. False ribs. Vertebrochondral ribs are three pairs. Eighth, ninth, tenth are false ribs. Next, eleventh, twelfth pairs are nothing but floating ribs. Eleventh, twelfth ribs. Eleventh is And the twelfth will be not attached with the spinal cord, so hanging only, not attached, not connected ventral side. So that's why we are calling as floating ribs. What is rib case? Rib case means thoracic vertebrae plus sternum, back side thoracic vertebrae, twenty six bones plus sternum. This sternum and vertebra, uh, thoracic vertebrae attached with ribs. These three are nothing but rib case. These three are nothing but rib case. Sternum is the only one part. Then here onwards, back side onwards, spinal cord is there. These will be attached to the These are the rib cages. Back side here that will be attached will be this scapula. And then back side how the triangle shape it is there that is scapula. And uh, these are the uh, pectoral pectoral ribs. So here that will be attached here. These are twelve pairs of ribs. These are twelve pairs of ribs are there. Hi friends. So today I am giving one good suggestion to you. Please, you can regularly watch my channel in YouTube. Then you will get the up to date videos. These you videos are most and most useful to the medical aspects. Means who are going to write the medical entrance examination? If you want to get the highest marks in biology, then if you want to get the highest marks in biology, then regularly watch my videos and subscribe it. and share your friends as well as like the videos also then that is most useful to you here 100% ncert based syllabus we are giving good result because of we are following 100% ncert test book as well as other books you will give you how you will get more information in my videos thank you